My name is Creation, and this is the Gold Magnum, the new sniper that we got with the Second Assault DLC. And what I believe to be the best sniper rifle in Battlefield 4. Now I know that's a very bold statement, but I have a few facts to back that up. But first, a lot of you guys probably want to know how to unlock it. Unfortunately, Second Assault is still exclusive to Xbox One right now. But when it is available, you'll be able to unlock it by collecting one sniper rifle ribbon and also getting five kills on the towers of Caspian Border and Operation Firestorm. This is definitely one of the more easier assignments and can be done pretty quickly. Now, if you're on PC, like I am, you can play on some unranked servers where all the weapons are unlocked. They're pretty easy to find, but I will link some in the description below just because I am so nice. So let's get into this review. First off, you may know the gold from Bad Company 2. It was one of the better sniper rifles in that game and it still holds to date. The gold is one of the more aggressive sniper rifles like the Stout Elite, but it doesn't suck. It is definitely more balanced and versatile to all the other sniper rifles. I noticed that something like the Stout Elite has a lot of drop off, but a really fast bolt reload. But something like the SRR has a very slow bolt reload time, but doesn't drop off as much. And of course, that is just weapon balance. We don't want a sniper rifle that pretty much fires really fast and really accurate and can hit anybody from across the map even though we have had that with the shotguns at one point. But we're not going into that. The goal has a very short reload time between bots and a very short reload time if you leave at least one bullet in the chamber. Now, the thing that really slows down this rifle is that you have to watch how many bullets are left. You are greatly penalized when you hit the long reload time and it can take from around two to three more seconds than the short one. But that's okay, considering the fact that this is the fastest firing sniper rifle in Battlefield 4. Has a great drop off and hit fire rate. The only downside to this is that the thing is kind of clunky. It takes up a lot of strain and it could be a little bit smaller, but that isn't really a major hit to performance. I mean, like I could finally find a sniper rifle that I feel will be okay in those close quarter situations and even be able to take out people at more of a long range. This gun versatility is just so good and that's why I think it makes it one of the better sniper rifles. You can play on pretty much any map and still do pretty great because it fits so many situations. So yeah, like I always say, the best sniper rifle is going to be the one that accommodates your style of play. And you guys know that I love to be aggressive, I love to be on the point and capturing flags. I just love to be in the mix and sometimes I just like to sit back if I know that there is trouble on a certain point. And I just like to sit back, snipe the people off and then go take the point and be able to defend myself while doing it. And that's just perfect. So yeah, I plan to play more with the goal when the actual second assault comes out for PC seeing that I could only play Domination right now and not try some of the other game modes was a bit disappointing. Also, if you guys notice, I am getting a bit better at sniping and I haven't really practiced as much as I like. Changing over to PC has been a bit weird and I know my aim is sometimes all over the place, but I was going for headshots and the goal is just so perfect for that, seeing that it just has like that gliding bullet that you know where it's going to land. So yeah guys, put down the Stout Elite. It sucks and it is just not worth it. Seeing that the Stout Elite and the Gold have the same fire rate and they're the fastest firing snipers in Battlefield 4, it is definitely better to use the Gold over the Stout Elite. It performs better in every category that I can think of, except the fact that the Stout Elite takes up way less strain. But I like my sniper rifles chunky, and I guess that's just me. Of course, I would love to hear you guys' feedback and thoughts. 
Maybe if you get a chance, tell me what's your favorite sniper rifle. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Stay pride up.